A. So let's think about a pendulum. So a pendulum is pulled back and let go. We're going to actually start, this is a demo here. So pause, a pendulum is pulled back and let go. When the pendulum reaches the bottom, it hits a peg. Here we have a peg. We're going to set the camera up here in a second. There's a peg, holds the string, pulls back. So right here, there's actually, a, this is a peg working as a, a bar, blocks the string. Where will the pendulum end up? Will it end up lower, the same height, or higher? So pendulum comes down, hits the peg. We've changed the pendulum at that point in time. What will it do? Will it go to the same height, lower, or higher than its original height? So all in favor of C or A, higher. Okay, so let's just keep your hands up so I get a guess on the counts again. So it looks like about 40 of you. Same height? Roughly about the same number. Lower? A little bit less, so we'll say about 20 of you. I'm just guessing at the numbers. Hey, anybody want to tell me what, I don't, what are you thinking? Whichever one. Nobody wants to stick their neck out? So, because, step back. What answer did you choose? A for higher, okay? So, this is shorter. Ah, so repeat a little louder what you said. So shorter pendulums have a higher frequency, right? That's 100% that's true what you just said. Short pendulums, higher frequency. They move faster. Long pendulums move slower. That's 100% true. But that's still not, you're not answering the question yet. Does that, will that be the reason it'll go higher? Because it's going faster. And so it might, by shortening it, it may, so, so short, so larger frequency, which you, then you think that may increase the potential energy. Okay? Okay, what about B? Those of you who chose B. So the peg itself will not give it energy. That's what you're saying, right? Therefore, it would, so it started with X amount of energy, hits the peg, the peg doesn't give it energy, therefore it can't go higher. That's, is that the argument? Okay. So I don't know how to write that down. What about C? Those of you who chose C. So you're using the energy argument that the peg may actually take energy away, therefore it'll go lower. Okay. Given all that discussion, all in favor of A, all in favor of B. So A's, A's actually ended up around 20. B's, go hands again. Looks like about 55 or 60 of you. And C, so 15 of you. Well, let's see. Here we have the setup here. I bring it over, and I have, so right there is the post actually sticking straight out. Clamp it tight so it doesn't move. Bring it over, one, two, three. What did it do? How much less so? Just a tiny, tiny bit less, right? Because we are in the real world here, right? This is not physics land. This is actually real world. So it can, it will not get higher. Even though you're, everything you said about the pendulum length is true. If we just think about energy, it started with a certain amount of energy. It starts with a certain amount of energy right here. What's its energy right here? 
U, potential energy, right? It's just whatever amount of potential energy, which is MGH, right? Whatever height. When it gets to here, what's its energy? It's all kinetic. How much is it? Exactly what it had with, with the U, right? With potential energy. I'm not going to lose, and we lose a tiny bit because of friction, but that little distance, the amount of air resistance we got there was effectively zero. So we have the same amount of energy. When I get to here, I have, I can't get any higher. So the two arguments about energy is where we're at. In the real world, I do lose some energy to, on, because of that point, and I lose a little bit of height because of real loss of energy, and I cannot get higher. So it'll be, you know, in this range here. But the argument about the time is true. What did you notice when we were here, though? So as it comes down, it takes a certain amount of time to get to here. It did get up to here quicker than it did get from, so the first half was longer, the first half of the distance was longer time than the second half of the distance. So it did get up quicker. I changed the, I changed, something changed so something had to change, right? Energy was conserved, but not everything else is exactly the same. We've seen that already before, right? Time was different. The length of time to finish was much shorter than the length of time to start. Because I did make a change. Something changed. So not everything is going to be conserved. That's the thing to remember. Not everything is conserved. Time isn't conserved. You know, things like that are not conserved. But energy was. Does that make sense? It's easy to tie into that thing because that thing is different. And it is different. But it's still not. It doesn't add energy. And that, in a physics land world, that doesn't take energy away. <coughs> Any questions? So it's, it's very easy. So I bring this up. That's our last demo. I bring that up to kind of help us recognize that when we're solving a problem, don't get tricked up on things that will change and assume that everything else changes, or vice versa. Don't assume just because energy is conserved, everything else is conserved. What does the what? The, the answer should be B, same height, in physics land. So why did it actually go lower? Because when I hit this thing, I actually stretch the spring, the string stretches a little bit. There's the amount of work. This thing actually flexes a little bit. It's, I clamped it down as tight as I could, but that'll bend, so that flex takes some energy away. Those kind of things take a little bit of energy. It didn't lose much, though, right? It wasn't like... So as we looked at the real pendulum, it really wasn't this situation. It was like kind of right there, kind of thing, just that little bit of loss. Just like when we did the, you know, the nose basher pendulum, I lost about that much. You know, the starts at my nose, goes away, comes back, and it's actually probably an inch away from my face when it gets back. So in that whole process, we lost, you know, half an inch of energy, worth of energy. So it's very difficult in the real world to eliminate <coughs> everything, all energy. But that, as you can see, that's pretty darn close, so even with just some basic setup and no real special effort to eliminate friction. <coughs>